In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how the crosswalk buttons in my collection work. Um, basically, uh, they work identically to how they would out in uh, at an intersection uh, in my display. You push the button, you place a call to the controller cabinet for a walk signal on uh, the phase that's tied to that button or that input. You'll see here in a second, the signals turn green, but we don't have a uh, pedestrian uh, walk signal because the button wasn't pressed for that cycle. Um, come over here at uh, any time in the cycle. We're cycling out. We push the button. And obviously the signal doesn't change immediately as it wouldn't in the field as well. The signal still has to go through their cycle. But on the next uh, green cycle you will get your walk signal. And that's how they work. Again, if I wanted to push the button again for that phase, it's going to ignore the uh, that push until the next cycle. So it's going to run through this cycle again. And then when it comes back to Main Street Green, as it was here, the walk will return. So we wait for the cycle to come around again. The vehicle signals are cycling back and forth a uh, minimum time. The main uh, street or the main uh, signals, the left turns are uh, don't cycle unless there's a, an actual call. So um, if the minimum time is extended, uh, it will uh, advance the green uh, timing a little longer, but uh, the greens are held by the pedestrian service in this case. So, come over here to the side street. See the signals change. I push the uh, digital crosswalk button, and as you can see, no. Uh, no immediate walk sign. The next cycle will have the, uh, the walk service. Just like out in the, uh, in the field. So these, these lights are now green. So the, the buttons don't make the uh, signal cycle any faster. It just inserts a pedestrian service into the cycle. Where uh, if the pedestrian, if the button isn't pressed and the light doesn't change, then the controller will assume that there are no people waiting to cross the street, and will cycle the uh, minimum amount of time for the vehicle traffic that is needed, um, which could be short, could be long. It tailors to the uh, vehicles, not the pedestrians, and that's where the crosswalk buttons come in play. So, the buttons are wired up and connected. So briefly, the connections with the crosswalk buttons are down here. It's hard to see this connection block, which has a couple wires um, tied to the inputs behind the back panel of the controller cabinet. So, that's uh, a short video on how the buttons work. Um, my collection, the uh, Voltages to the buttons is 24 volts DC out in the field. Um, it varies depending on the jurisdiction. Typically, the buttons in the field at an intersection are 12 volts AC. There's an isolator uh, in the cabinet um, to keep. If there's damage to the button out in the field, vandalism or whatnot. Uh, the button uh, won't. The damage to the button won't damage the controller. But being in a Safe environment in my basement, uh, there's uh, no chance or very little chance of any real damage happening to the button. So I have it directly wired to Logic, 24 volts. So that's uh, the crosswalk button video. Hope you enjoyed it and maybe you learned something.
Thanks.